With that, we're going to move on to uh, a segment that I'm really excited to bring back. If you dig through our YouTube channel, you're going to see that um, <clears throat> before it was Puzzle Talk, it was a different series, and I can't remember the name off the Unlocked. top. Unlocked, where Tone did something called Trailer Reviews. Big shout out to Christina for the prompt that I'm about to big up because we present to you Trailer Thoughts. I don't even want to leave the screen. It just it looks so good. Oh, I was so, so happy pretty. when she made it. Thanks. It took me a whole five minutes. So big shout out minutes. to Christina. Oh. <laughs> Listen, what took you five minutes would have taken me an entire day. So I appreciate everything that you did. And we're going to Thank talk about the first trailer that we're going to, to watch. Let's see. Here we are. The game that we're going to be watching is called The Labyrinth. Now we've got a couple of review, uh, a couple of trailers to review. The first trailer is called uh, The Labyrinth, and it is a VR escape room game, completely okay. virtual reality. It's going to be uh, debuting on the Sony PlayStation Four, and I think also the PlayStation Five. A lot of big name uh, producers working on this game. Is there a date on the five yet? There is no date on the five. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to quickly just adjust the volume on this so I don't blow everybody's ears out. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get our live reactions for this trailer. I present to everybody trailer for The Labyrinth. Resident Evil than Resident Evil does these days. You're absolutely right. I'm really blown away by like the composition. Um, there are a lot of big names. These guys are metal, solid by Virgo, Rabbit Rabbit, all that stuff. Nick. Turismo, mm -hmm. very, very popular racing game. Oh yeah, they're toting the credits for a reason. The last labyrinth. And that was the last labyrinth VR escape room game. And here we are. I would like thoughts. On initial thoughts from uh, the uh, the trailer that we just watched, um, that was so boring. It was it's 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 not a whole ton to go off of. From what I understand, and the thing that I like about it is because the conversation that we had about a lot of the VR games and the advantage that they have is that you can do a whole lot with more with VR than you can with you know real life because it's it's more coding. It seems really simple, and there's not a ton to it. Which I think might mean that it focuses more on the puzzles. That almost makes me feel though like. Even more, why bother? Uh, just platform. You platform know, it, sales. If, if you're going to go so simple, why not just do an escape room? If you're going to do VR, I want world crashing down around me. I want to. I want to exploit the fact that it's VR. Okay, that's fair. Um, in this game, you also have that little girl. You know, she's. Like, I want to play in the middle of a volcano. Oh wait. Oh wait, <laughs> trailer coming soon. Um, not yeah, soon enough. Out. Mm, not soon enough then. Um, There's only a teaser. <laughs> yeah, Christine, it's only a teaser. I'll go away. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the the girl that you saw in the video is kind of like a companion of yours. She's going to be following you, or kind of like not really directing you, but mostly just accompanying you throughout the entire game. Uh, we didn't get to really hear much of it on our end. There's a very uh, soothing uh, soundtrack that plays throughout the entire game. So I don't think it's meant to be intense as much as it's meant to be kind of more relaxing and thought-provoking as a VR game. Okay. Then, in that case... <laughs> Well, I am a huge advocate of VR. I used to have like dreams about virtual reality when I was five years old, so this gets a resounding thumbs up from me. I love VR. 
Yeah. We're... I think I've talked before about playing the Batman Arkham. Yes, VR. yeah, we did. We want to talk the Telltale series, I think. No, no. Oh, Telltale, no, Arkham. Yeah, it's um, Arkham. The Arkham one was like you go in Wayne Manor, you mm -hmm. get access to the Batcave, you take the elevator down, you suit up. Then you're standing on a rooftop of Gotham, and you can look down and around. And then you get that vertigo. I I'll take the vertigo. I felt like I was freaking Batman. <laughs> that, to me, is what makes VR. Transport me into a world that can't be built. Okay. I can understand and respect that. And hopefully in another trailer, when they come out, maybe they have more to add to that. Or even if it could be built, it wouldn't be safe. You know, like, the put me in a situation that you can't do physically... Like standing on top of a building and looking down. Right. Or, you know, jumping, right. make, uh, making yeah, leaps and bounds. Diving off a skyscraper in Gotham is not something I can really do while dressed up as Batman. Yeah, not unless you have professionals and a bungee cord, and that's all money. Especially with a real gliding cape. That would be so sick. I would kill for one of those. You ever, you, okay, you know that scene in Transformers where, like, that military squad uh, jumps off the building and they, like, bust out those squirrel suits? And I they try start... not to watch Transformers movies. It was, I think it was the first Transformers <laughs> movie. It was the very first one. I don't remember. It, that's basically how I uh, enlisted in the military. I went to go see Transformers, and then I left the theater, I blacked out, and I woke up in the Air Force recruiting office. I had already mm. signed the papers. I'm like, what, what just happened? Um... But yeah, they jumped off this building and they had like these like uh, squirrel suits that had like these kind of wings. Yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. And they just glided off the building. Yep. And then I found out that's a real thing that they yeah. do in the military. Yep. So immediately I'm like, I want to fly. Someone give me the suit. I'm ready to fly. And yep. I'm still ready to fly. Tony, you ever been skydiving? Yes. Never mind. I was going to suggest the first time company trip, but never mind. <laughs> I've done that. I've done bungee jumping. I've done the one where you like slingshot out on the cord. I used to be uh, a major thrill nut, so yeah. I, I still kind of am. I, the problem that. is I'm, I'm older not... than you. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I have a kid now. If I die, she's daddyless. <laughs> that's fair. I got I got nothing to lose. I want to do one of those like the slingshot ride that you were just talking about, where like it shoots you up into the air. Like the, the, the we see the videos of people like passing out on the ride. No, and stuff. not that one. The the one I did was they. It's almost like a, a Tarzan swing. You're corded and you're up over here. They drop you. And then you, the cord catches, and you swing. Oh, out I see. And come back. Okay. Now oh, I would do that. I don't know why, but I did not really think about the fact that you're gonna free fall for a little while before that cord catches to swing you out. I totally felt like I wasn't corded. <laughs> oh God, your whole yeah. life was flashing, yeah. wasn't it? That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I wanna do. I wanna go. Total skydive. Owen Hart moment. Oh God, that's dark. That's real that's dark. What, I know what. Ha I know that's what happened. He thought he was locked in, and he wasn't. I, I know that's what happened. Still, oof. My feels. He's a huge fan of the Hart uh, Brothers. Um, I want to go skydiving. Yeah. I wanted to go skydiving. Still want to go skydiving. And I really want to do that uh, that ride in, that amusement parks have. The slingshot ride I was just talking about where, like, people pass out on the ride. I will happily do one of those. I'll get recorded in everything. You know the exact... You, I, we can all like we could even freeze frame on the exact moment where I piss myself. Like we a moment. can stream it live. You could stream it live. Listen, I'll, I'll do anything for.